in 2020, Dems have to run a progressive. And one of the best reasons why is not just because of the policies. Um, you know, we want good progressive policies. Um, but there's, there's one reason that sticks out why running a centrist is really, really bad uh, for Democrats. And that is people like Hillary Clinton or uh, Joe Biden or any of those types of centrists, those types of candidates galvanize the GOP. Um, there, there's such a despisement, uh, a, a pathological hatred for these types of candidates and, and centrists. And it really gives them a boost. Um, I really believe that's what happened with Hillary Clinton in 2016. Uh, she was such a despised person. It galvanized the GOP, uh, and, and, they, and they obviously won. And that's one thing I failed to recognize, the anti-Hillary vote. The more I talk to Trump supporters, the more I hear about how it was an anti-Hillary vote. Um, and that's good insight uh, for 2020. And for the Democrats to not go that way. Uh, because when you run a centrist like Hillary Clinton, you're going to reinforce the GOP. Um, and that just means they're going to vote in higher numbers. Um, and when you run a progressive candidate... Now let, listen to this. One out of every ten... I forget the, the, uh, the news report, but it was one out of every ten Trump's of, uh, Trump voters... Uh, wanted to vote for Bernie Sanders. One in ten. Um, you factor that over millions of people, tens of millions of people, that's a lot of progressive votes right there. Um, and, and, and by running a progressive, you could snag potentially one out of every ten conservative votes if you run a progressive like Bernie Sanders. So that's just huge uh, insight right there that in 2020, we have to run a progressive candidate for many reasons, and I just reeled off a couple good ones here. So let me know what you think. Like, subscribe.